Hey everyone, it's Maggie back here, uh, post my first podcast, and it's a podcast that also has video, so I'll call it a video cast. Um, myself and Rhiannon Ox and Stephanie Straw took over DFW Nerd Night this week on the Wednesday night podcast they normally do, and though my video cut out about half the time, I participated in what they were trying to do. So it was going to be myself, Rhiannon, and Stephanie, and there was going to be a woman named Taffeta there to talk about cosplay, and Taffeta got sick last minute. So um, cosplay community and conventions turned into community conventions. Um, what was nice is that uh, Rhiannon and Stephanie and myself can just sit and BS about things for days and days and days and days. So I got a chance to plug my charitable event, and Rhiannon got to talk about what she does at the rec center. But mostly we just sat around and BSed. Um, it was nice. Uh, it felt good to get onto something that's on my own feed. But um, it was super weird for me because I don't know... Uh, Okay, so I took my new job in March of last year, so it's been a little over a year now since I've had this new job. And since then, I've hosted 80% less public events, I've gone to a few conventions for work, but I'm not planning on going to many conventions for work this year. Uh, we built out a new store, so that meant a lot of the funds had to go toward building the new store. and so. I mean, other than playing games, I felt mostly cut off from the larger gaming community. And so being in something like a podcast with Stephanie and Rhiannon, who are overwhelmingly trying to build community, trying to get people into gaming, trying to do things, whereas I feel that, if anything, I'm punching a clock and I'm... Uh, getting games to people who want them, but I'm not bringing new people in, and I'm not hosting anything, and it almost feels like I just didn't belong. And I know that they'll say that I did belong. I do know that. Um, I have a job in gaming, and I, I do what I can. And um, the gauntlet that's coming up in May, so I do a charitable giving tournament every year called the gauntlet. Uh, this year it is Moxtropolis which is a Metropolis th theme, um, and we invite 20 teams from everything from like Microsoft Gaming Studios through Paizo, through Penny Arcade, down to um, just our, our store has a team. They all raise money, and the money they raise gives them benefits in a tournament. And so I help with that every year, but I do feel like I'm a little separated from the gaming community at large. I will not be at Gen Con this year, which feels like a failure, though I know it's not. And I will be participating in Gen Cant with my friends Suze. Um, it feels a little like because I can't be at Origins or Gen Con or Gateway to the West or any of the big cons like that, that I've, I've failed at something. Um, so this is me personal Maggie Bot to you, my loving 200 strong audience, um, because I know you guys understand that I, I'm not faulting anyone else, but it just feels like a failure of my own that I will not be getting to any of those bigger events. Um, maybe next year, maybe 2016 is going to be better than 2015. It's just that 2015 had to pay for a big, new, beautiful store for my company, and so we didn't really get to do conventions and that kind of thing. So our community building has to be more local. And so it is what it is. Um, as far as gaming goes, I've been mostly replaying Kanban and Aquasphere and those types of games. I bought Shipyard and I bought Arboretum, which is that little lovely card game. So if you liked Parade from Z-Man Games before, they made Arboretum, which is another of that, like, light card game you can take anywhere. It's in the same size box. Um, I think it's just one of the loveliest games that's ever been printed. The trees in that game are just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, Seattle is home to the largest deciduous tree arboretum in the world. Uh, so it's topical. Uh, maybe it's not, but 
Uh, it was nice to play anyway. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, I know I haven't posted here in a while, and I will be posting again soon. If you've not seen me in Board Game Blender, the Dice Tower Network has been doing Board Game Blender every other Thursday, and so we'll have an episode coming up on Thursday. Um, I thought it would be fun to work with my friend Z, and my friend Suzanne was also participating, so I figured I'd try it out. It's a three-minute segment, which... I don't know how many of you know me that well, but three minutes of scripted speaking means about two hours of filming for me, <laughs> whereas if I just ramble, I can usually get it in two takes. If I actually have to fit it in three minutes, it's going to take me a while. Um, but it's been fun to try, and I hope I fit in okay. They don't have many gamers like me, but, you know, what else? I'll fit in wherever. Um, I hope to see you all again, and I hope to do some more vlogs soon. That's all for me. Okay, bye.